And for everyone here in this room, things do go wrong. In the next couple of days, something will go wrong. Hopefully, that's not going to be anything serious. Maybe you might spill a cup of coffee here on the table, or you might stub your toe or something like that. But things will go wrong. It's life. We all hit speed bumps, we all hit potholes. When we hit those speed bumps, when we hit those potholes, if you can remember to ask yourself the question, what do I want my attitude to be? It will make a real difference to you. And it won't make just a real difference to you here at the hotel in Chicago. It'll make a real difference to you when you're dealing with your customers, with your clients, and with your work colleagues when you go back to work. So, Knowing the people here in this room, I know that everyone here in this room does not have any difficult colleagues to work with, right? I know that everyone here in this room doesn't have any difficult clients or customers to work with. But let's assume you did have a difficult colleague to work with. Let's assume that you know that when you're going into a meeting next week with this uh, difficult colleague, you're kind of saying to yourself, I just can I work with that person, or that person drives me crazy, or they're just so uh, unappreciative of the work and the results that we are generating. One way that will help you to change the environment in that meeting room, or at that meeting, is that before you go to the meeting, ask yourself the question, what do I want my attitude to be when I'm inside there? And I think when you ask yourself the question, what do I want my attitude to be, when you're going in dealing with your uh, difficult work colleague, or you're going in dealing with a customer that you really have difficulties with, when you ask yourself the question, what do I want my attitude to be, you're not going to say, I want to be cranky, I want to be upset, I want to annoy them. I think if you ask yourself the question, what do I want my attitude to be, you're probably going to say, I need to get something out of this meeting. I need this meeting to be productive. And when you ask that question, what do I want my attitude to be, I think it will shape the format and your thinking for that meeting. And if you go into that meeting with that kind of a different attitude, you may well come out with a totally different result, a more positive result. It is a powerful question that can make a real difference to you. So the question is, what do I want my attitude to be? I'll give you one other example of uh, that, that uh, what do I want my attitude to be.